Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So, we got most of the numbers from the German automakers for 2022. And the trend for all of them is pretty much the same. And it's not looking good, as they cannot keep up with EV production with the high demand for EVs there is in Europe and China. I see no way that they will come out of 2023 with the same size as they are in 2022, even though they fell in 2022. As they are falling in China big time, and China is going so fast toward EVs that Germans cannot keep up with the demand, and we can see that in their sales numbers from 2022. But Tesla, on the other hand, is doing very well, both in China and on the Germans' home turf in Europe. We will have a close race in 2023 between Mercedes, BMW, Audi and Tesla. Not who will make the most EVs, we already know that, but who will sell the most cars of any kind. Because Tesla is growing quickly, while the others are collapsing in real time. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So let's start by taking a look at Mercedes. According to Mercedes press release, the company sold a total of 2.04 million vehicles globally. Of that overall figure, Mercedes massively expanded the EV sales by 124%, selling a total of 117,800 EVs globally. So a nice headline you can make of this, right? Mercedes BV skyrocketed in 2022 up 124%. But this is unfortunately only half the story, or maybe about 6% of the story, as BV sales were only less than 6% of Mercedes' overall production. And Mercedes was actually down at dramatically. 24% from the previous year. Asia is Mercedes' biggest market and continuing its sales trend, selling 987,800 units. China, in particular, received the lion's share of those sales with 751,700 units. In comparison, Europe sold 635,100 units, North America sold 327,000 units, while the rest of the world only sold 94,000 units. And the trend will continue without a doubt, as we know China will probably end up with something like 30% BEV market share in 2023, if not more. And in Europe, it is probably going to be about 25% or more, as December showed, a 25% BEV market share in Europe. So as that continues to rise, I think it's pretty safe to say the full year of 2023 in Europe is probably going to be close to 25% plus minus. But even if Mercedes doubled their sales again in 2023 of BEVs, that is only 235,600 units, so less than 12% share of their production. But if Europe is going to be 25% and China about 30%, or probably more, Mercedes is going to miss by 13 and 18% respectively in those two markets. And as we've just seen, that is their two biggest markets by far. So if they're going to miss about 18% in China, that means Mercedes could end with a decrease in China of about 135,000 units and about 82,000 units in Europe, and probably down in the US as well as they only sold about 12,000 BEVs in the US in all of 2022. So if we do some rough back of the napkin math, Mercedes could be up 100% in BEV sales again in 2023, but overall they could drop something like 230,000 units globally if Mercedes only get to about 12% BEVs. 
Remember, plug-in share globally in 2022 was already 13%. So they need to ramp up much more than 100% in 2023 with their BEVs if they should not drop in overall sales. So I expect Mercedes to drop to about 1.8 million in 2023. Let's see how that plays out. But the big brother BMW did sell a lot more BEVs in 2022 than their German rival Mercedes. The BMW Group BEV sales was also up 107.7% and sold 215,755 BEVs in 2022 globally with all the BMW and Mini brands. But again, the BMW Group sales were down by 4.8% to 2.4 million vehicles, down from 2.52 million vehicles in 21. So even though BMW made it all the way up to almost 9% BEV shares, that was still not enough to counter the fall of the ICE sales. But in reaction to BMW's good BEV sales in 2022, the company has increased its expectation for this year, expecting 15% of sales to be fully electric vehicles. So again, even with a very nice target of 15% in 2023, which means if their sales stays at about 2.4 million, they are aiming for about 360,000 BEVs in 23. So about where Tesla was in 2019. But again, BMW is losing the market in the US to Tesla. That did become the best-selling premium brand in the US in 2022, with any kind of propulsion beating BMW from the first place. And again, Europe and China are BMW's two biggest markets by far. So we might see BMW decrease again in 2023 with the same amount they did in 2022 about 120,000 units. So the BMW group could end 2023 with something like 2.28 million units sold overall, dropping about 5% once again as they did in 2022. Even though their BEV sales will hopefully increase with something like 144,000 units to 360,000 BEVs or about 65% increase. But even though BMW is doing pretty well with BEV sales and ramping up pretty fast, it simply cannot keep up with the demand for EVs right now. But then there are the little brother in Germany, Audi, that almost lost to Tesla as an automaker in Q4 2022. While everyone is talking about how the old guys will catch up to Tesla, well, Tesla actually almost caught up to Audi in Q4 2022. I made a video where I said we will see Tesla overtake Audi in 2023 and already here in Q1. But that was before we had the numbers for Q4 from Audi, and it turned out that Tesla was not far off from catching Audi in Q4 2022. Luckily for Audi, they had a great Q4 and reported that its global sales during the fourth quarter of 2022 increased 26% year over year. So that was good for Audi, as it jumped their sales up from about 335,000 units to 420,000 units, just beating Tesla that sold 405,000 units, but produced 439,000 units. So Tesla and Audi are already neck and neck as car companies. But the story for Audi in 2022 is unfortunately still the same as for the other two Germans. Despite a strong Q4 2022, the brand sold almost 4% fewer cars than it did in 2021. 1.61 million compared to 1.68 million. In 2022, Audi sold a total of 118,196 all-electric cars around the world, which is the first six-digit result for the brand and a solid 44.3% increase over 21. The share of BVs out of Audi's total sales increased to 7.3% compared to 3.9% a year ago. So if they can grow with the same percentage again this year and add another 50% growth to their BEV sales, well, that would only be about 11% of their total sales of 2022. So 
just like the other two German automakers, they are missing quite the percentage of BEVs to meet the demand for EVs. And again, China is their biggest market and then comes Europe, just like the other two. So my guess is that Audi could fall to about 1.475 million in 23, even with EVs growing about 50%, but still not enough to meet demand. So the Germans will probably do okay in Europe in 2023, as most EVs goes in that direction, despite not having enough EVs to meet the demand. But in China, the Germans have truly big trouble. As we can see here, in 2022, the Volkswagen brand only had 2.4% market share of the EV market. And BMW, 0.8, Mercedes, 0.3, and Audi, only 0.1%. This is very troubling for the German automakers, as this is not just the biggest car market, this is their biggest market as well, that is moving much faster towards EVs than anyone expected. In 2022, the EV sale almost doubled and sold 5.7 million pure electric vehicles. And all the Germans combined only stood for about 200,000 of those units. This is bad. Tesla sold more EVs in China in 2022 than all German automakers combined. Yes, Tesla is not the one having trouble in China. And the Chinese national pride of homemade electric vehicles is increasing. So it would be close to impossible for the German automakers to get anywhere near the same kind of volume and market share in the new electric market that is rising fast in China and the ICE sales will probably be irrelevant in three to four years. This will truly hurt the good old German automakers and make them fall in size quite quickly over the next five years, as about 40% of their sales comes from China. So I have no doubt that Tesla will beat Audi in 2023. And we will see that already play out in Q1, as Audi's big fourth quarter in 2022 was 420,000 units. So I don't expect them to get that high in Q1, but I do expect Tesla to do something like 445,000 units as of now. But if Mercedes is really going to fall to about 1.8 million in 23, well, that is within Tesla's officially stated target. So that could be a really close race where I think Tesla has the best chance of winning. I personally think BMW is going to live one more year as a bigger car company as Tesla. As my prediction for Tesla as of now is about 2.185 units for 2023 and BMW about 2.2 8 million units. So a very close race, but I think BMW will take the crown this year as well. But that will also be the last year any of the German premium brands will be bigger than Tesla as an automaker. So even though the Germans are growing their EV sales very fast and we get a lot of great headlines about how their BEVs are skyrocketing, well, it is simply not growing as fast as the EV adoption itself. So as I said before, follow the trend lines, not the headlines, and we will be able to see what might play out. But no matter what, the Germans are not ready for this. As we can see if we look at the wait time in Germany for Germans EVs, six to nine months to get some of their EVs. The Skoda Enyaq is even up to 24 months, two years you have to wait to get a Skoda Enyaq. This only shows us that they are not able to produce enough EVs. The demand is there, but their production is not. Skoda only sold about 12,000 Enyaqs last year in Germany, so it is not because they are producing them in high and big volumes. Tesla's Model Y sold about three times the amount of the Skoda Enyaq in Germany last year. They are simply not prepared for this EV demand with their suppliers and battery production and so on. And a lot can of course happen in 2023. It might be a very turbulent year, no one knows, but the trend lines are telling us that 2023 is going to be the year where Tesla overtook some of the German car companies in size. A very historical year we are about to witness. So hope you're ready for one heck of a ride.
And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>